I was talking with a friend recently who was asking me for advice on how to navigate this, this entity that she's building within her current organization. She was feeling like it was competing a bit with her side project, her side consulting work that she does. And as she was describing all these future scenarios, well, if this happens, then this could happen. And that would be really bad. And like, what if this happens? And oh my goodness, that would not work well. And so I listened and validated and expressed understanding around, yeah, like those are normal challenges you're anticipating. And But I also pointed out to her that she was worrying about things that may or may not happen. These future things, I mean, they're all possibilities. Aren't there always possibilities? But why spend time worrying about those things that may or may not come to fruition? There's an analogy that is helpful when thinking about worrying in this way. Worrying's like paying money on a debt that you don't owe. Why are you spending time and energy planning for something that may or may not be? So here's to recognizing worrisome thoughts today. And yeah, I mean, see that as like, okay, that's a possibility, but let that float on by. Find another possibility. And when you find one that feels good, that aligns with your, your heart and what it is you want, double down on that. The best way to predict the future is to create it after all. What a great way to take care of yourself and ultimately each other.